What's up guys, it's June, and welcome back to another LBA uh, battle. This is actually uh, the, s the finals of the Aqua Division, rather. Can't speak. The finals of the Aqua Division, and uh, I'm playing my buddy, uh, D-Train. Uh, we are pretty close friends, I'd say. Probably one of my closer LBA friends, so I guess it's kind of fitting we both made it to the finals. Winner will advance to the grand finals of the LBA and face the uh, champion out of Magma, who is uh, Vertilette, um, who also has a YouTube channel. Really good YouTuber. You guys should go check him out. Anyway... Um, D has a really threatening team because uh, I can't really cover it in six mons, just like based off the mons that I have. Even if I were to go like Spadef Gyarados, like I still can't beat stuff, which is kind of bad. So, anyway, he has a Lander's Eye Rotom C or Rotom M, however you want to call it. Uh, Hippowdon, which is his only like wall on this team, I guess, because Rotom is kind of offensive. And then we also have your boy Dragonite. Lopunny and uh, Superior. Well, uh, on my team, I have Fable, Gothitelle, Halucha, Gyarados, <laughs> uh, Scarf, Salamence, and uh, Thunderous. The goal was to trap Hippowdon and then uh, break Dragonite's multi scale and sweep him with Halucha because he was pretty vulnerable to that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and check out if that works. It's sweet, it played. Nice. <laughs> anyway, so he's going to go ahead and uh, issue the challenge. And as you guys can see, he's going to lead off with Najini, uh, or however you pronounce it, uh, which is his superior while I lead off with Clefable. He makes a very good play turn one. Uh, goes for the taunt because he knows that I love to run T-Wave. Um, and so that's a little bit unfortunate because now I have zero to come in on this Leaf Storm. And uh, basically, I just have to click Moonblast. Hope I don't get this special attack drop, which would actually be a raise. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate, but regardless, I'm just going to go ahead and sack the Fable here, who was arguably the MVP for the second half of the season, so already not off to a great start, down 6-5, to five. and right here I'm going to go out into Halucha, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a double right here, which is a mildly questionable, um, but I figured he would want to switch straight out into Hippo, so I go out into this thing, I eat the Hidden Power, and, I, and we actually found out later, or well, I found out later, you, won't, you guys won't see it here, he's actually Koba Berry HP Rock, or er, Koba Berry HP Psychic to uh, take me out, but... Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pivot out into Thunderous, get a T-Wave off as he missed a Leaf Storm, which is a little bit unfortunate, but um, he's just going to go for the Hidden Power right here, and uh, it's going to be a neutral Hidden Power, which, you know, is fine. Um, he's at plus two, so it kind of hurts, but he goes out into his Rotom right here, um, which is a very good play, so I'm just going to go ahead and fire off an HP Ice um, and do about 60% to this thing, and... Uh, He's just going to follow it up with a Volt Twist, and so we see that he is Scarf, which, you know, I would rather this be a Scarfer than, like, Scarf D Knight, actually, because Scarf D Knight would actually be kind of a pain. Um, regardless, he's going to go into Toru, which is his Hippowdon, and I figured this is a really weird play for him, because he knows I have Gothitelle, so I'm just going to go into Gothitelle, but instead of going for, for an Energy Ball, I'm going to go for a Psychic, because... Um, I, I know D-Train would try to pull some Shed Shell, whatever, on uh, Hippowdon, so I am able to pick up the Surprise K over his Rotom, bring it back to 5-4, uh, to four. so he goes into Alejandro, which is um, his thing, his Landris, and he goes for the Sludge Wave, which is very nice for me, probably predicting the switch on Gyarados, is I'm just going to hit him up with a Spec Psychic, um, do a lot, and I'm going to switch out to save this thing for later, because, you know, could be helpful as I go out into my Salamence, he just goes for Sludge Wave again, so, you know, very good play on his part. And uh, I'm just going to follow it up the Dragon Claw. Ultimately, this play right here uh, really did affect um, a lot of the battle long term because this would be beautiful to have up against this team because it outpaces Low Punny and uh, still outpaces Dragonite if Dragonite does get to plus one. Um, so all I would have to do is weaken Hippo for that to win, which, you know, a little bit unfortunate for me. But he's just going to go in and get his rocks up right here on my switch back out into Gothitelle. And uh, I'm just going to go for a trick. Kind of unfortunate. If I would have gone for a Psychic, that's another play that, you know, I just ultimately kind of choked on when it came down to it. But uh, he just ends up going for an EQ, knocking me out. Um, so I believe he's up 5-3 to three right now, which is not good. But I'm going to go out into... Uh, Halucha, because right here is my opportunity to win the game. I'm going to have to get up to plus four, I think, to knock out his hippo. Um, and I'm assuming he's, like, mixed defenses to take on Thunderous, but, you know, we'll see. Um, he's just going to go out into Dragonite, then immediately double back out in Hippowdon. And uh, right here comes, pro like, I still could have brought it back. I would have just had a very, very small chance, but uh, spoilers don't come out on top in this one. Um, I'm going to go for the high jump kick, which is really unfortunate because it will knock me down in, into my range where I have to burn my uh, citrus berry. And uh, therefore, I, there, therefore uh, Unburden kicks in and uh, he roars me out. 
meaning that there is no way that I can uh, come back from this one. So a little bit unfortunate, but you know, all in all, I really do think we had a very good season in the LBA. And like after this is just basically me like trying to pull it back, but it doesn't go so well. Anyway, um, I think we had a really, really good season in the LBA. Um, we got off to kind of a rocky start, but ultimately we're able to turn it around. I'm super excited for next year. Um, season five, dang. And, uh, you know, if, if we can just like kind of improve, um, off what we did this year, I will be very, very satisfied. Anyway, uh, some shout outs to some people who have helped me throughout this LBA season. Uh, first and foremost, shout out to my dude, Wyatt, AKA Mr. Murkrow for, uh, Genemy Mons, uh, couldn't have done it without you. Um, and then D train who, uh, recorded all my battles throughout the year. And, uh, also, also, uh, basically end of my season but it's okay <laughs> thanks for recording my battles man it really does mean a lot um additionally shout outs to tyler um who is the admin of the lba uh, the founder um huge shout out to you man uh i know that this was like not an easy task at all to put together the entire league but uh i really do appreciate it um really fun format and i'm really looking forward to it um new season starts like june 6th and uh I will have more stuff up on that next year, or not next year, I'll have more stuff uh, surrounding the LBA up on my channel when that time does come around, because um, I do think it would be very good if I can uh, bring more of that to the channel, because, you know, it'd be very fun, but anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and take an L versus D-Train, um, I believe it was like a 4 -0. because, yeah, I think it was a 4 -0. anyway, um, if you guys did enjoy today's battle, uh, and... In general, just enjoy this season of the LBA. Please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that we're doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is, uh, who's your guys' overall MVP for this season? And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.